All right, I have no idea how long it's been, but I'm coming back. I'm back. Cool. Uh, so, uh, exercises, right? Um, so I'm just gonna round out uh, my theor- my theory talk for tonight. Uh, then we'll do a little bit of practical stuff, and uh, then start closing out the show. And we'll we'll say we'll do practical stuff for about thirty minutes, and then we'll close out the show with a with a few things. Um, so, if you remember, and I barely remember, so I don't know how you remember, but if you remember about an hour or two hours ago-ish, ish, probably around 7.30, uh, you heard me talking about what do you need to make a story. So, I said two things. I said you need to see it and you need motivation. Or not motivation, you need drive. Uh, which is not the same thing as motivation, as I said. Uh, so, seeds. Uh, and this is this is uh, something I'm going to expand on next week, but I am going to say it a little bit in detail right now. And this goes back to a lot of the things I've been saying over the course of the show. Um, that th- there's this concept that I I have uh, that I have coined in in my head as idea length Um, and this should be something I haven't done enough research into this but again this is going to be a topic for next week uh, in more detail Um, what we call idea length what we're going to call idea length and idea length uh, is something that I've been talking about a lot recently when it comes to writing and has to do with the idea of seeds and all that stuff where ideas, um, ideas have suitabilities. They are good for certain things. Um, and and this is uh, this is something I've seen a lot as as studying screenwriting and all that. There are some really good novel ideas, and there are some really good screenwriting, like screen, like film ideas. And there are some really good television ideas, and they all work a little bit differently. All right? And you can do some transfer back and forth between certain things, but there are some things that only work as as one medium or one thing. And this has a lot to do with Asimov and all that stuff because he was a very prolific short story writer as well as novelist and all that other stuff. He basically just wrote everything all the time. Um, and there, uh, the construction of a short story is different from the construction of a novel. They have a lot of similar parts, but the idea of a short story just... It, it's because it's so condensed, there are a lot different ways that you have to approach it. And idea length comes directly into that. Idea length is what I used to refer to an idea that's really good for a short story because it's this big. Or an idea that's really good for a novel because it's this big. Or an idea that's really good for a film because it's it's this big-ish, but it really works visually. It works in this visual sense. Or this idea is really good for a comic because having the panels in this way really would would make it give it real good oomph, impact. Um, so, yeah, idea length. Um, and then seeds are a part of that. Because a seed, what we call a seed, is not necessarily a whole idea. And the way that I'm using the word idea here... Um, and I'll probably talk about this a lot over the course of the, the shows, uh, that uh, language is very unclear, especially English, and that we mean a lot of things when we say things, and, and some of them are true and some of them are not, and, and if, don't get me started, but um, yeah, it, and, and this is exactly what, what what's Sam Sam saying in the chat is it's it's also important to keep in mind that certain media allows for different levels of story specificity. Specific? No, I don't know. You get what I'm saying. 
Yeah. Um, so a seed is a part of an idea. It's what an idea comes out of. A seed, or sorry, I totally missed a step here. Uh, ideas, I was defining ideas. So when I talk about the word idea, uh, an idea for a story, what I mean is a premise. Or a log line. Um, which aren't exactly the same thing, but do very similar things. Uh, so have very similar purposes in different medias. A log line generally is used for film, uh, more so than anything else. But you can also use them for other things. And we'll, we'll talk about that more in detail later. Uh, but it, it's, it's a, a big enough form with an idea of a plot and a character uh, and, and a general problem. That's an idea to me as far as writing goes. Um, so, so yeah, you have kind of enough, enough stuff there to, to start working, like to start on the writing stage. Um, a seed can be a part of that. It can be a single character, but you don't know what he's doing or why he's doing it. Or, uh, you can have a location or you can have, uh, an inciting incident. But you don't know who the character is or why this is happening, but you know what, like, what the specific incident is going to be. Um, and, and it seems weird for me to say that because you're like, well, how can you tell a story like that? And you, you, you can build around those things. It takes a lot more work, but, but it's certainly doable. And in a lot of ways, uh, the way that, that writers come up with ideas, or at least that me and my friends come up with ideas, uh, are building on those, those sort of blocks. Of you know having a seed and then expanding it and then adding things to it and adding more seeds and eventually you're going to have a whole fruit orchard and that fruit orchard is going to be your story and it's going to be awesome. So yeah, um, so I just wanted to bring that all sort of full circle and say that you know you when you're being creative as a writer, you don't have to have all the answers right away. Your entire story is not going to jump from your mouth fully formed. Uh, there's going to be a long process of, of working on it. And sometimes there's gonna, you're going to be waiting a long time for things to click and your story is just all there. But getting that seed and having the drive to continue with that seed, to keep, to keep watering it and, and, and tending it and weeding it and all that stuff so that it, it can grow, that's the important part. And that's the takeaway that I want you guys to, to, to take from this episode. So, cool. Uh, and if any of you guys want, guys, gals, peoples, uh, want to write along with me, please do. I, I encourage it. Um, I can't guarantee that I'll be able to look at all your stuff or any of that stuff. We'll, we'll see how that goes. I'll come up with a, uh, I'm still working on a process for maybe doing some of that stuff. Um, but we'll, we'll see how it goes. Um, uh, but yeah, um, so, so spend this week, like, Thinking about a seed. What's your seed going to be? And even if you're not going to write it, you're like, you don't have to write it. Just, just come up with a seed. And, and we, can, we can do some exchange stuff next time. And, and see, see kind of what people have come up with. And so in order to help that, um, yeah, that's the, end of, that's the end of theory for today. Cut. Uh, so we're going to do a couple of exercises. Uh, that me and Sam talked about uh, a few days ago. Excuse me. Um, just to just to kind of get you generating stuff, um, and I'm going to show you a website as well because uh, because I love this place just for random doodles and fiddling around. Uh, so, yeah, I'm going to go back to the whiteboard. I'll detail out some exercises, and I'll show you a website. Cool? Cool. All right. Well, back to the wall. The wall. Man, I love this wall. It's going to be so epic. So, uh, we're going to have two exercises, uh, just things to think about, ways to generate. 
and unfortunately, I can't do them on screen because I don't really have uh, the copyright access or a few other things here. Uh, but maybe I'll do them in the off um, during the week sometime and, and bring back the results and uh, we, can, we can talk about it. But uh, the first exercise uh, is something I did in my drama writing class and something Sam also talked about doing uh, with me a while back. Um, and it's the overheard conversation. Am I ready? No, we're good. Overheard conversation. Yeah, cool. So in order to do this, basically what happens is, is in your day to day, and I know this happens to all of you, in your day to day, you're gonna hear people talking around you. So what I want you to do, um, and I'll try to do this as well, is uh, there are two ways that it's been suggested that you can do this. Uh, the first way, number one, I'm hoping this is legible. I'm hoping this is legible. I'm still working on the light. Uh, number one is you copy down a few lines uh, that someone says and you write a scene. So, basically the way this would work, like say I was walking, I was sitting on the bus, which I was today, uh, and someone said something about their boyfriend cheating on them. So I read that down, it's like, oh, I'm sorry I couldn't go to your house because I found out my boyfriend was cheating on me, and then I write a scene based on that conversation. So you take, you take one or two lines, some interesting, something, something weird, something odd, and you write it down, you write a scene. Then you can use that scene to write a second scene, and then a third scene, and suddenly you've got a story. Right? So, that's one way. The other way, and this is the way it's Sam's suggestion, but it's kind of the same idea, is that you take uh, five random sentences Five. <laughs> uh, that people say during the day, during over the course of your day, and then make a scene out of them. Again, doing something very similar. So. Two ways, pick one, do whatever you want. But essentially, this is this is doing uh, almost exactly the same thing. Where you know you're taking five bits of conversation and you're constructing a story, a very basic story, but a story nonetheless. And this is one of the reasons why it's kind of important to do this is is you, you kind of learn a little bit about uh, basic blocks of what makes story interesting. And dialogue is a very important part of that. So that's one exercise. Um, then, yeah. And then the second one uh, the second one is what I call the music mashup. Music match. So, again, in a similar thing, uh, yeah, there we go, that's better. Too much shadow. Um, the way this works is you take five random songs And then it, it really helps if they're 
from a, a wide variety of genres and styles. But you take five random songs, and then you either use the lyrics, or, uh, because not, not all songs are, are good, at, like have great lyricists and lines are, are usable like that, or you use the overall feeling of a song, to write five short scenes. But then again, you have sort of the construction of a story. Um, and that's, that's really what, I, what I'm trying to get you guys to do is, is start constructing little, little, j j uh, little seeds that you can use to, to build something bigger. Like maybe, maybe what you do from this exercise isn't really usable within itself, but there, there's a couple of lines that you can save for later that, that will make an excellent story. So yeah, thinking through all that. And then... Lastly, before I talk about uh, the last couple things and, and, and sort of close things out, um, we're going to go back to this main screen here. And I'm going to bring up a website. Boom. Seventh Sanctum. The home of every generation generator you could ever, ever want. Um, and I often come to this place just to, to hang out, see what I come up with, see what's up. Um, there's of so many things, and they're always producing more and, and all this stuff. Uh, but you can you'd be really surprised what uh, what what you can use computers to, to, to jog your 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 cogs as it were uh, so I'm gonna go down they actually have a, a bunch uh, of like writing prompts and a what if inator which I, uh, I love so much uh, if you if I haven't gushed enough about what ifs as it is um, uh, here's some uh, great ones great ones. What if Carl Jung fought St. Francis? Fantastic. Oh, man. Um, what if William Blake was a mobster? So good. But yeah, uh, these are all really awesome seeds for a story. And uh, in my screenwriting class, we did something very similar. Where uh, what we did was we took uh, five actors we really liked. Uh... It didn't matter who they were. Uh, five actors we really liked, and then uh, five locations, five genres, and five um, five problems. And what you do is you put them all together, and so you end up with things like. Uh, oh, what was my one? Uh, God, I can't even remember now. But it's like uh, Park Shin Hei in an office, and the problem is, is the the office moves, and uh, like it's it's a sci-fi, it's a thriller, it's a romance. Like you can you can do these weird association things where you're, you're trying to to jog your creativity. And see what you would come up with that that would actually be really interesting to write. So, yeah, totally, do it up. Um, if anyone is coming back, which I hope a lot of you are, we'll see how it goes. Uh, yeah, we'll, we'll we'll do a sharing time where people can share any of that stuff they've done during the week. I'll make a point of it. I'm writing it down for next week.
Cool. So yeah, um, I'm gonna end it a little bit earlier this week than I plan to normally. Uh, I've been talking for a long time today, uh, and just not really a lot of practical stuff. Uh, it's still a little bit away yet, but um, I'm planning for the main show to be about three hours, three one hour blocks. Uh, that wasn't really the case today, that's fine. I do have a few more things to talk about before I go, uh, but I will end a little bit early. Uh, but the last thing uh, that I want to talk about is actually a, more of an administrative thing. Well, sort of. So, uh, what I want to talk about right now is I want to talk about the Accidental Book Club. And uh, we're going to go back to the big face here. So, the Accidental Book Club is something that I'm going to be doing over the course of the show. And what it is, is I, if, if you see my bookshelves, I own a ton of books. Uh, I own a lot of books about writing. I own a lot of books about art. I own a lot of books about being creative. I own tons of stuff like that. I own magazines. Um, the problem is, is there's a lot of them that I, I really haven't read. Like, some of them I've read a couple chapters. Some of them not even that. Like, there's a lot of that stuff that I have that I haven't read. So what I want to do over the show is, is in, in the hopes of pushing myself, is I want to read those. And I want to share what I'm reading and why I'm reading it and uh, what important takeaways I, uh, I get from it uh, over the show. So um, every episode, there's going to be a approximately 15-minute segment uh, at the end of the show where I talk about what book we're reading uh, over the course of two weeks. Uh, I'm going to do it bi-weekly every second episode. Uh, there's going to be that section in... Uh, sorry, not, not clear at all. Uh, so that segment is going to be in every episode, but I'm only going to read a new book every second episode. So the first of the two is going to be an introduction to the book, and then the second of the two is going to be my conclusions after reading the book. Uh, just to give me enough time to actually read them. I read pretty fast, uh, but I don't have a ton of time to do everything all the time. So I just want to make sure I actually have time to read the books. Because uh, I do want to read them and I do want to share with you what, what I'm learning from them. Because uh, I think it's important. I think it's important. Uh, so yeah. Uh, and I'll be a little bit clear, more clear about that schedule as, as, as we move forward. But uh, yeah. So this week, this week, and I have it here beside me, this week we're doing Brick, oh, oh, and this thing already failed me. There we go. We're reading Brick by Brick, Principles for Achieving Artistic Mastery by Stephen McGrain. And uh, this is actually one of the books that I've read the most of out of, out of my library. I love it. Uh, Stephen McCraney, uh, his comic, like it's a, it's a, it's a, it's a, an artist perspective on being an artist and it's all written in comic essays and there's one comic essay, uh, called Be Friends With Failure that I absolutely love and, uh, it's, uh, it, it just like I've had I had a printout of it on my desk for so long for like years, and it it's just super inspiring about you know you're learning to do the to to be an artist you're learning to draw you're learning to write and you don't ex you you can't you you actually can't expect yourself to be Isaac Asimov overnight, to, to be Van Gogh, to, to be Da Vinci. You don't, and, and he uses this analogy is where he talks about, um, uh, you don't insult a baby because they can't talk yet when they're learning to talk. But in a lot of ways, we're at the baby stage of our art. So, we can't hold ourselves to the same standards as, as those people. We aim for those standards, yes. You want to push yourself so you can get to those standards. 
And I'm not saying that 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 means it's okay to make bad art. I just mean that you you gotta realize that you're learning. And that you're not going to be that great right away. So don't give up. Don't give up. Make friends with failure. Learn from failure. Because if I haven't said it enough, failure is the first step of learning. 100%. So, yeah. Anyway, this book is filled with cool stuff about procrastination, about about art, about depression, about, uh, like... (laughs) Just, just so many things that are important to being uh, a visual artist in his case, but also a writer and all that other stuff. So if uh, that hasn't convinced you, hopefully my conclusion next week will. But uh, there's a link on the website, um, which I will link again. Uh, and it's also on the bottom of my profile. Uh, go check it out. There's a link to, to his store, uh, his website, where he's working on a new book about branding, which is actually super interesting in a totally different way. Um, but yeah, check that out. Uh, I will continue reading it. But yeah, I, I think I think uh, I think Stephen McCranny is awesome. Uh, and uh, I bought I actually bought the uh, the big there's a big bundle pack that comes with uh, posters and stuff. So I got the Be Friends with Failure, which sat on my desk for so long as a little printout. I actually have the full size poster of it, and I'm gonna be hanging it up in my office. Uh, soon, hopefully, I'm I'm still working on getting a frame for it, but uh, yeah, it's gonna be like directly across from me there, so I can see it every day, uh, and I'm super excited about it because it just it's such an inspirational book. Um, but yeah, so that's pretty much all that I've got for today. Uh, so just in summary, uh, failure is the first step of learning. You too can be creative. Anyone can be creative. It's not it's not something you just automatic. It's it's something you can work at and get good at, and just like any other art, any other skill. Um, and yeah, don't be afraid to be a fool. <laughs> Takeaways. Yeah, cool. So that's the end of the first episode. Uh, I will uh, keep the stream running for about 10, 15 minutes. Uh, if anyone has any questions they need to ask me, um, I'll be in chat. I'll be interacting. Um, so yeah, uh, if you didn't catch the beginning of the show and you want to ask me a few questions about what I covered and stuff, just let me know, uh, and and I'll go over a few things. Uh, but yeah, about about ten minutes or so. So uh, yeah, uh, DD Don uh, bot commands. Uh, right now, the ones I have are set to regular, regulars and above. Uh, I will see what's going on with that. I just, I haven't decided 100% what I'm doing with it. Uh, but I will, I will hit the thing for you if that helps. Come on. Do it up. There we go. Boom. There we go. It works. Still playing around with it. Let's see. Did I miss anything in chat? Just flipping up here. Uh, yeah, um, and I see that he's still in chat, but he hasn't, oh, no, he's gone. But I did want to quickly thank, uh, John Derek Murphy for the, for the host, and for all my friends from his stream who came and hung out, and all that good stuff. So, yeah, I think, uh, I think this is about it for me. So, uh, yeah, show's done. Hope you all had a good time. I will be uploading the VODs and all that tomorrow. Uh, as well as uh, rewatching it and finishing the show notes uh, and posting those as well. So hopefully that'll all go smoothly. We'll see how it goes. Anyway, 
Oh, uh, the book club. Uh, no, it isn't that kind of book club. It's more of a. It's more of a. I just want to read the ton of books about writing and writers that I have, and this is kind of a public forum for me to force myself to do that. Because that that you know that helps you know with like deadlines and, and having accountability, uh, and all that. Uh, I can I could probably come up with some if if we if we decide as as a community that that's what we want to do. Uh, totally. Uh, but I, I mostly just wanted to share you know things that I'm reading and why I'm reading them and why I think they're good uh, or bad or whatever. Um, so. Uh, just to give a, a, a general overview of some of the stuff in there, uh, the next book, <laughs> maybe I should, maybe I should write some formal reviews. That'd be, that'd be pretty cool. We'll see. We'll see. I'm still, I'm still on the fence about some of that stuff. It's mostly just because I don't have a ton of time, which is why this is really only going to be a weekly show. Ooh, I probably should have said that at the beginning. It's only going to be a weekly show. Um, that's fair enough. I, I am not the type of author who really wants reviews. Uh, I like a little bit of layers of, of distinction between that, which is weird because I'm doing this Twitch show, which I'm directly interacting with people. But yeah, no, that's, that's a good point. And I will definitely write that down and think about it. Um, maybe not a full review, maybe more like a, like a 200 word blurb or something, but we'll see. We'll see how it goes. <laughs> um, and, and I totally agree with you about supporting, which is which is part of what I'm like why I'm doing it on stream, uh, and not just like on a side thing because like I I've been changed by this book, uh, and I want to share that with other people who are creative, and hopefully that will help them uh, and help support the writer um, and all that stuff. Uh, but yeah, uh, as I was saying, a couple of the other things that I'm going to be doing with the book club. Uh, the next book I'm going to be doing is going to be Sid Field's uh, book uh, screenplay, The Foundations of Screenwriting, because uh, it's kind of like the be-all, the end-all of screenwriting books, and everyone recommends it. Uh, and I bought it for class, and I only read part of it, but he talks about John Renoir, and I'm a huge John Renoir fan, uh, the, the director. Guys, unbelievable with depth of field and lighting. Like, oh my god. Um, but, uh, yeah. So, next one I'm going to be Sid, uh, Sid Field. Uh, I'm also going to be doing... Uh, I'm going to be doing... I think I'm going to spend a month or six weeks or something on... Uh, maybe a month. We'll see. Um, yeah, I, I study screenwriting. That's what I study. Uh... Yeah, that's what that's I studied screenwriting in college. Uh, well, it's actually called script writing, and it was more than just screenwriting. I actually studied uh, playwriting as well, um, but film, television, and plays, uh, and a little bit, a little bit also of like things like PSAs and doing internet videos and and all that kind of stuff, which was pretty cool. Uh, but it's just a totally different thing. Uh, so yeah. Uh, and I also am heavily invested in comic books and will be doing comic book writing at some point during the stream, uh, which I'm very excited for. I'll probably be the second project I do after the short story. Uh, but yeah, I'm super excited. Um, yeah. Oh, right. Yeah. So what I was saying, uh, I'm going to do, uh, probably a month to six weeks on, uh, Scott McCloud's Understanding Comics series, which is super good, uh, and I'm gonna do uh, I'm gonna do six weeks probably on Will Eisner's books on writing comics, which are totally different for a whole bunch of different reasons. Uh, but yeah, um, I am an attempted novelist. I've tried it. I'm not that great at it. Uh, it takes a lot of dedication to write that long of a thing. Uh, that being said, I'm, I'm trying to be better about finishing projects in general, uh, and not just starting things. So, uh, that should be, that's one of the, one of the things I, I'm trying to work on with, with this stream. Uh, but yeah, visual, visual storytelling, which is how I describe comics and film is extremely different from novel writing. 
because you got to communicate different things, uh, and it's it's so different. <laughs> Uh, but it's different in a good way, and, and in a lot of ways, uh, the way that, um, and I'm I'm thinking next week I'm going to show some examples of this, but of my failed novel, which is, is a big step for me because it's a little personal, but we'll we'll see how it goes. Uh, but there's a lot of things I took from visual storytelling that I bring that I brought to writing a novel. So there's a lot of things like sound effects and pacing and, and things that I do a little bit differently because they come from that sort of visual sound uh, background. Um, but yeah, we'll, we'll see how it goes. Uh, there's a lot of similarities. There's a lot of differences. Uh, there's takeaways. Uh, so yeah. Anyway. Uh, yeah. What else? What else I got? Just because I'm curious, Judy Don, were you the person I followed earlier? Were you streaming earlier today? Because I followed the only other writing stream that was on. <laughs> just just to see what, what was up. Um, and once, yeah. Uh, once you answer that question, then I'm going to go. Oh, and, and, and actually, because you asked there, uh, I don't do art, but a bunch of the people who were in earlier are artists, so maybe I can convince them to do something for me. We'll see how it goes. <laughs> but yeah, that's that's all stuff in the future. I mean, I write, you write scripts to write scripts. You don't write in to, to do all the stuff, but we'll see. We'll see. Okay, cool. Well, I will give you a follow on my other account, my actual watching account, uh, and check you out. See what you do. See if maybe I can learn some things from you and, and use them for my stream. Uh, real reviews, yes, that, that thing. Cool. So yeah, uh, everyone who's here, all like seven of you, Thanks for being here. I appreciate you. Um, and uh, I will see you next week. Um, so yeah, don't be afraid to be a fool. Failure is the first step of learning. Bye guys.